What's up? What's up? What's up, guys? What's up, Tekken heads? Enforcer here. Enforcer 23. A lot of people see me on PSN. Um, sometimes see me on PC. Um, I'm not a big online person. I'm kind of old school. But today, uh, I'm going to do something different. I want to do a guide on a new character that just came out. Falk Aram. Falk. <laughs> um, the biggest thing is just trying to get some info out on this character. Basically, I want to show a few ins and outs with the character. What he's good at. What's some good moves with the character. And just a down-to-earth guide where, you know, you're not just looking at all the technical data. Uh, when I came up, you know, I was in the arcade times. A lot of times data wasn't readily available like what we have here on the screen. Uh, you had to kind of know like, okay, this is minus or this is plus just from experience. So it's going to be kind of down to earth like that. No particular uh, structure right now. My first time kind of doing this besides putting out um, videos with no commentary really. Um, but I guess, you know, a little bit about me also, just I'm, I'm a Tekken player. I've been playing Tekken since three, uh, since the days of Tragic and Cat Lord, all these guys. So I've been playing a pretty long time and kind of see the direction it's going in with season three, making it much more accessible than uh, I would have thought Tekken would do, uh, especially with, <clears throat> excuse me, with games like VF possibly on the rise, I hope. Uh, I really don't want to see it go down the road of making it too accessible. Because Tekken fans, we like we like the complexity of the game, and we don't want to not play it because they dumbed it down too much. Um, it's a fine line. But enough of that. We'll get into fuck around and uh, see what's up with him. So as far as the character goes, I think he's a he's a pretty good character. I find him to be kind of uh, balanced but still lacking in certain departments, and we will get into that. Um, the first thing I want to talk about with him is, uh, let's talk about things like his, uh, his punishment. His punishment. He has pretty good punishers. Um, he has 1-4, 10 frame. You know, when you compare him to somebody like Bruce Irving, Bruce Irving had like the 1-4-3, which was three hits, which Josie has now. Uh, but this is pretty simple. You can tell you can tell where they're going. They made them a little bit complex on certain inputs, but this is simple. You know, one four. You somebody does a, a minus ten move, one four, one four, easy. I mean, a lot of times when you're starting off in tech, and that's if you don't know how to punish something, I usually recommend going for the ten frame punish, which is usually starting off with a jab for most characters. So one four for ten frame. Um, then you have down four, one, two, for 13, which is pretty good, you know, 12 is pretty good too, I'm kind of going in, like I said, not, not an order or anything, it's just coming to my mind, <laughs> uh, forward two, one for 12, so forward two, one to me is really good, it's a knockdown, um, let's see if they can hold back while doing this knockdown, let's check that out, let's do a quick back roll. I think they can though. Let's see. Yeah, so they can get away. Uh, Far two one is still really good for knockdown wall splats. You know, uh, I think that's a pretty good punish. Down four one two, you use that in the thirteen frame and up. I like down four one two because it leaves the opponent at minus six, and uh, at minus six, Fox has a lot of a lot of options. You do down four one two, you can do another down four one two. The only thing they can do to beat this move is duck. They can duck. That's the only thing they can really do to really beat it. Duck and while standing punish. Um, but there's a special there's a special property about this move. Um, I guess I can show it now since we're talking about you know punishes. Uh, I'll talk about punishes and ten and good moves at the same time. So so down four one two is really good. Now this move has something called a special high you guys don't know what a special high is Bruce used to have a special high by doing forward uh, forward and forward forward then forward boom and you couldn't really you couldn't low jab it you couldn't crush it 
So special hot typically can't be crushed. Josie has one in one of her stances. So let me show you what a special hot does. Oops. Let's say I'm fought and I want to low jab the move I want to do, right? You know, a lot of people mash low jab. That's the panic button, low jab, low jab. Okay, dick punch. You know, well watch this. So I'm gonna do the special high I just told you about. Normally you can go on that high, right? Look what happens when I try to mash dick punch. I'm doing it. Look at, look at my inputs. Do it again. See that? It's a special high. I'm doing down back one. One more time. Meaning that you can't just go under it. Uh, but even if his down two won't even go under, I don't believe. Let's see. See, down two is a high crush. But because it's a special high, your active frames, it has active frames almost like a mid. And that's that's very unique to the character. Um, and that move comes in handy in another situation, which we'll talk about later if I remember. But um, so he has that. Let me get back on track. For um, for 14, he has back one. 14, he has back one. Somebody's doing things like jacks uh, down forward two on you a lot. You have back one, which you can follow up with forward forward two one for a total of 49 damage. It's almost combo damage. Um, I think that's pretty good. Let's see. So back one for 14. He has something else for 14. But to me, that's all you really need uh, as far as good. He has back three, which is good. I love that move. But again, that's not 14. You want 14, you always do back one. So do back one. <laughs> you can do other things too. Don't all, another thing, when you watch these guys, don't always just believe you should always do the proper punish. Like, okay, that's 14. I should do a 14 frame punish. You might say, okay, well, I want to do that move, but he's been dying to my pressure. Maybe I should do down four one two on him and keep him standing, since he, you know, since he can kind of escape the fifty. I mean, I, I typically go for guaranteed damage, but you don't always have to. It's not a rule. Tekken, you don't always have to follow a lot of rules. You might want to do this and know they like to hit buzz, and then you follow up with something like that, you know, to get the counter hit. So it just depends on what level you're playing at. Um, it really depends. Um, another move that I find is really good at 50 is obviously his down forward 2-3. That is one of his main launchers. It's one of his filler launchers. Um, very, very good. So if, you're at, if the opponent is at negative 15, minus 15, that's what you do. Leads to a combo. This move also has special properties. Uh, it is hit confirmable. You don't know what hit confirmable is. It's it's pretty. When somebody tells you it's hit confirmable, it means that. So he's blocking, right? It means you can watch the first hit connect, and tap the button for the second hit. So watch how that goes. Down forward two three. I was able to see the down forward two first. So down forward two three. So you can confirm, basically, that that hit is going to hit by confirming the first hit. Um, in other words, that move is a, it ends in a high. So if I was to just throw it out there, it doesn't gel. It doesn't it doesn't gel me to standing up. So let's just make the other fucker on do it. Okay, so he didn't hit confirm. He just did it. Watch what happens here. Duck punish. Oh, he's just gonna throw it out. Duck punish, right? Do it again. Duck punish. So. It's always a better idea when you when you hit confirm, you can wait. So watch how that looks. You know he ducked. So he's ducking now because he's expecting that second hit. Let's say you want to be safe about it. You could do something like just to catch him because he's ducked. You see that? I mean you could do like a little fuzzy guard, but a lot of times that ducking, hard duck, you can do. It's a lot of mind games into something like that. But that's that's a different level. Um, this is really a basic guide I'm trying to make it. Uh, so just know, down forward 2-3, hit confirmable. You don't have to commit. You can wait till you see that hit connect. And look, their body does a little dip when he hits them. So when you see that dip, boom, hit it. You see they just blocked, don't do anything. You know, I'll go into your mix-ups from there. So that's his 15 frame punish. Um, for 16, 
for 16. He has back three. Very good. Homing move. Very fast, too. Very, very fast. Uh, minus seven on block. That's not too bad. This move on minus 11. You get jab punished for that. The one we just looked at. Um, back three for 16. Um, now, a lot of times when you go higher than 16, your other your other punishes will take care of the rest. Like, if I knew, okay, if 16 is giving me this, which is down four, two, three, then really I should look for any move above 15 to get to get launch punished. At that point, all your other punishes are going to work. Everything else is just for kicks. Back three. Um, now at 18, he has back forward four. Which is really good, really good. Now, certain certain moves that leave you at a distance, this will be a special punish. So, if you're playing against the Bears uh, or Hey Hachi's uh, forward forward two, which you know forward forward two, it lunges at you. It's normally hard to punish. Use the longer range moves. For instance, with the Bears, you want to do back forward four. That'll punish that big move, and that's that's his punishment. That's pretty much his punishment. In, in a, in, a, um, in a bucket right there, man. You know, you really, that's really all you need. Now, looking at that, we're talking about good, just, you know, and, and thinking about the character, he doesn't have a lot of good crush moves. Doesn't have a lot of good crush moves. This move kind of crushes. That's down back two. You know, but at least you, you know, it doesn't, at least you have negative ten, you know. It's kind of strange. Plus one, negative ten. So I, I don't really like that move. Let's see. Um, it's, it's not hit confirmable. I, I, I just wouldn't do it. If anything, I would do down two. If I'm really looking to crush, besides doing down jab, I'm gonna do down two. Down back one for down jab, down two. Now, if you are doing down back one, um, down back one's pretty good for crushing. It also leaves you at a pretty strong positive frame makes things uninterruptible um, but just going past that his other than that he doesn't have a lot of crush moves I mean he has a forward one that crushes lows now just for anybody that don't know what a crush move is a crush move is an instant counter to uh, moves height hitting so in other words like if I'm if I'm like Fakaram and you know I'm gonna do one two and then down four you can look to crush me. If I tried to move, I can either try to defend that or get hit. Or I can do a panic crush, which normally would be a hop kick for some characters. Like if you had Bruce, if he was in the game, hop kick. But a forward one is his orbital, which will crush. It's not that fast, though. Uh, he gets a combo from there. He gets a combo. You know, a little small combo. You can get a bigger combo than that, but, you know, you get the idea. Anyway. <laughs> Another thing with Fakadam is, uh, let's look at some of his key moves. Some of his key moves are, uh, are really, really just amazing as far as what they can do. My favorite moves with Fakadam, my top 10 moves are, my, one of my favorite strings, first I'm going to go by strings, is 1-2-1. One, one. You can do the 1-2, the 1 is delayable, but there's a special something about that 1. I'll show you. So if you do one two one, the one is delayable, you can try to delay and catch them. Not on a counter hit, but on a normal hit. And if that one hits, you hit four. So the way that looks is one, two, one, four. Hit confirmable, like I told you earlier. So you don't have to commit. The four is punishable. Mine is eleven. It's not that bad, but you know, you'll get jabbed and you'll lose your turn. But one two one, and you can confirm that into four. No kind of hit needed. It has good range. Look how far I am. You know, that's pretty, pretty good, I guess. You know, uh, uh, right. Um, another thing about this character, that's a pretty good string. Another move I find that's really good is down four when placing it correctly. Look at the range on it. Really good range. His lows has really good range. Uh, what's that big low? Down back four. Look at the range on that. That's crazy, right? Minus 14. A lot of his lows do get him kind of launched. 
but you have to strategically place those. You know, you don't want to just oh, I'm gonna do down four like three times. Although sometimes that does work. The no mix up, mix up. Um, that's really good. So down four, I like, I love down four. It causes a stun on kind of hit. Kind of causes a, uh, a grab your toe stun. Gives you plus ten. At plus ten, you can do whatever you want. You can go right into hit confirm. Hit confirming that move I told you. As you can see, that makes that move like four frames. You know, like five frames. So it's uninterruptible. They would have to sidestep. Um, so you get that counter hit. Do whatever you want to that opponent. I mean, just don't don't do it unblockable. That would be stupid. Uh, you never know. Some people freeze up anyway. But it, okay. So anyway, so another move I find that's really good is his back one. When spacing out, back one. It can fail you sometimes, but most of the time it's good. If you're in this space right here, and you do back one, you kind of control in that space, a lot of times you'll hit. You watch him whiff, you right here, boom, back one. Um, that's really good. You want to use it as, because it can be punished also, it's minus 15. Now, if you're being safe, and that brings me to my next move, 3 plus 4. 3 plus 4 is a hell of a move. I want to say that's in his top 5 for sure. 3 plus 4 gives you a uh, safe on block, has a crazy range, tracks to his right, um, also causes a counter hit stun, get a combo, get a combo, you know, you get a pretty big combo, let me give you one of the big combos, Just a little, you know, a little something, that was kind of whack, but that's not even what I wanted to do. But anyway, you get the picture. So he gets a pretty big combo. Um, do that again. I didn't like that. I can't even do his combo. What the hell? I mean, I'm not that rusty, am I? 81 damage. So you see how strong that is. And it's safe. You can't really think about it like Jin's forward forward, but kind of think about it the same way when you had this range right here. I want to say about two characters. You can almost see the range. So about two, let's see, it was the max. Two, his body's moving back and forth. I want to say maybe almost three. Let's see. No, three is too far. I want to say about 250. 280. So maybe three, let's see. Nah, three is out of range. Let's say about around 290. So yeah, about two, 270. 270, that's pretty good. 270. You want to look at that range. Look where he's at. And once you can start to gauge that as an upcoming player, you know, you can kind of start to tease around with that. If you know they're coming in with a string, boom. Look for that counter hit. You don't want to counter hit surf with this move quite a bit. Um, let's see what else we got here. Um, so that's that's one of, to me, that's one of his top five moves. Another move that's good is, of course, obviously his his down four one series is really good. So down four one two. Down four one two. Down forward one, uh, you can go into a little mix up. You see a lot of people do it. But I want to say it's kind of a gimmick. You know, it's fun to do it first. I'm not going to give you a full guide, I'm going to just give it to you straight. This move can be highly interrupted uh, just by the opponent doing a magic four or a down back one, panic down back one. Any panic move, you look in, if the animation makes you panic, you typically can beat your opponent out. Now, as a smart fuck around, I'm going to show you what that looks like when they panic. So I'm going to panic, right? This is where this other string comes in I was telling you about when it's down for a one string. So let's say they're panicking. I'm doing down for a one, two, one right there. On hit. Oh, they're going to panic. They think I'm going to do the string. I'm trying to match down back one. See, it's not working. I can't panic on hit. I can panic here, right? So the fuck around player has to gauge when the opponent's gonna panic. Now let's say what I, you do what I showed you earlier. The special high. I can't panic. And uh fuck around gets a combo after that down for one two hits on counter hits. So let's let's look at that. So oh I'm trash. It's so trash right now. Okay, hold up guys. I wanna do the other move so bad. <laughs> I can't stop doing it. Okay, I got it this time. Oh my god, shoot me! And you can do like a little combo. Let's see if I can actually get it though. 
Let's, um, I don't like having to charge up. Let's do that. He has such good range, I can't even get him to miss. You do something like that. Actually, the combo goes like this. Uh, let's see, it goes like... Let's see if I can get it. See how I'm trying to pick him up? You can kind of pick him up right there. I swear I'm not this trash. I'm probably just nervous. Alright, here we go. There you go. It's something like that, anyway. Okay. So, he gets a little combo after that. You just have to dash in and do down 3, 4. And uh, get it. Anyway, I'm not going to waste everybody's time. Uh, cut kind of hits back off. So, he gets a little combo after that. So, again, his down 4 at 1 series, you can mix that up. Even though it's best to do it on hit. But sometimes, like I said, if you know they're going to mash, down four, just finish the string. Because if they're mashing, they're not ducking. And if they're ducking, they're committed to ducking. If they're ducking, they're not mashing. So you, that's the mind game of Tekken. Uh, in competitive Tekken, you know, if you're just having fun, do that to your friends. But in competitive Tekken, you kind of want to stay away from the string. Not this string, but the, this string. You know, you might want to do it every once in a while. But really, doing it raw is a lot better. Doing it raw is better than giving it away with the down four one. Um, like fence, if you hit them with something like that, let's see, hit them with something like that, and you know they're going to tech, then you can probably do something like, uh, follow up with this, see, they blocked it, if they're not going to block it, you can kind of mix it up with something like this, let's see, you know, and that leaves you at zero, or one four, it'd be hard to interrupt, because it's from while standing beside the low jab, um, what else we got, um, what else? Is, what is another good move? I think down back four is good. I told you guys that down forward three is amazing as a low. He has some pretty good lows, and this is I think the most um, unpunishable, not unpunishable, but the least punishable low he has, which is amazing. Um, great range, great Okazemi tool. Usually if you get one. If they don't get up, you can get two of them. Um, so I like that. Uh, what else we got? Um, it, he has a lot. He's very deep as a character. This is gonna probably take two parts. I'm gonna probably give two parts on this on this little uh, tutorial I'm doing here. Um, pokes, great pokes. Back four three, one of your better pokes for mid. Good range. Uh, if they try to get into, if they try to interrupt, they can't. It has a follow up. Boom. Bruce is back two right there. So the way that works is, um, so if you get a hit with it. You had plus two. So right there, down four, one, two would be uninterruptible. Um, forward two, one for sure would be uninterruptible. And let me give you an example of how that looks. Let me give you an example of how that looks. So boom, 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 right? That's what uninterruptible means. That means I can't really hit a button. So I'm at plus two right there. It kind of trades, but... Um, that's uninterruptible. I'm tripping. Like I said, this is a freestyle guide. Uh, <laughs> forgive me. I didn't organize shit. Alright, so, uh, back 4-3. That's uninterruptible. Um, that's uninterruptible. Um, he has some other things that's uninterruptible, I would think. But for some reason, forward 2. I mean, I know how to do math. Oh, that would just make it like, uh, so it trades with jabs. But anyway, if they do anything other than a jab, I mean, put it this way. If you do 4-3, no, it's still 12. I'm surprised they didn't give him 11 frame uh, Magic 4. Because Magic 4 is pretty good. That brings me to Magic 4. If you need to mash out for something, to me, this is the only really panic move he has. It's 4-3. One kind of hit, you get a combo. You get a combo. One kind of hit. So... If you, if you hit jab, you can kind of check with the three. The only thing bad, you have to kind of commit to the four three. From what I've seen. I think he can do other combos from that, let's see. Yeah, he can actually, he can do four three and get it like that. He don't have to do the fancy thing I just did. So that's like his magic four right there. You know. He can't really. He might. Um, let's take a look at that. So he gets a full combo off of it. 
69 damage. That's not bad. Um, I thought he did, but as you can see, so 4-3 is not bad. It's just having to commit because it does not gel. And again, what did I tell you about gelling? Meaning you can duck it. Um, see? You can duck it. You can duck it. And guess what happens when he does that? Now he gets a full combo. And now you're on your ass. Alright. Another thing looking at. Okay, so looking at him, again, this is the range I think he should play at. About this range, you know, when you're moving around. Bag dash. You know your little bag dash. You don't want to go too far. I mean, I don't know why people people do this all. They can stand way over here. Learn to do real spacing. Learn to stand up in the neutral. You know, don't... I don't know. You see Koreans back there. They don't back there like they used to. But you see people standing way over here. How are you going to fight like that? Let's stay in his face. Not like this, but like this, you know. Right here, I'm, I have a lot of access. Forward, forward, forward. That brings me to forward, forward, forward. Homie move. Good range. Catch them while they're stepping. Another good move. If you can dash in and out, I don't have to dash right on him to do back three. I can dash right here and get a counter hit for them trying to attack me. Still in kind of a safe zone, you see? And what's, how's that going to look when I do it? Boom. Boom, boom. Whatever, right? So, know what spacing is. This character is going to rely heavily on spacing. Heavily on doing some of his abusive attacks like both kicks. Down four when you can. Down four at three. Um, just overall, that type of thing. Uh, I was kind of disappointed they didn't give him any Bruce's clutch throws. But, however, they did give him down four at one plus two. Which is a harder to break grab, we figured out. I've seen the community come up with that. I, I didn't know that. But obviously, you have to break the grab six frames faster than you have to break other grabs. Um, I, I think it's fair. You know, Tekken's had grabs were like that for years. You know, since the beginning of Tekken. Julius Mad Axis, you used to have to break faster than any other grab. Um, you know, different, different command grabs. So, I'm with that. I'm with that. I mean, I know it's the days of online, so it makes it harder, but I'm offline player. So you can, you still can react and break it, you know? Um, I think he should have had clutch grabs. I think he should have had a clutch grab. So that brings me to another move I find that's really good. Not even a grab, but that grab is really good. You could use it. I mean, it's only a 50-50 only a grab between that and his normal throws. Three! Three is another good mid-range poke. Far range poke. Look how far away. Jeez. Plus five on hit. You saw that? So at plus five, I'm for sure getting forward two. I mean, there's a lot I'm getting at plus five, you know, that they can't interrupt. Um, at plus five, I'm getting this. That next is my trade, but at plus five, I'm getting, I'm getting two of these at plus five as a poke. So I think three is amazing. Three is amazing. Uh, don't keep, keep three in your repertoire. Three puts you at that range where I told you where you can move around. You know, poke with it. Poke with it. Oh, it, it, they think it's coming. It opens up your lows. Poke with it. Poke with it. He even has a follow-up if they want to move and hit buttons. That he could do uh, with his follow-up. He gets up. Uh, I find this more reliable for his follow-up. So I'm trying to hit. He can get that. Sometimes if you find that's not hitting, that's also a far one plus two is really good. Also his wall bounce. Um, but I would say that's the last of his really good moves. I'm, I'm trying to think of something else that's really good. Uh, everything else is kind of gimmicky, like this right here. You know, I mean, that's a natural combo, but you never really want to commit to it on block, especially because you get that block, you're going to get launched. Um, 4 4 1 2 is his main with punishing tool from far away for launching. Look how far away that goes. Not as fast as Bruce's crop gas, his CD2. But I still see people using it very similarly. You know, he gets pretty decent combos off of that. Um, what else we got here? Um, other than that, I just don't see anything else that's really good. This is good for breaking the uh, the floor. We'll get into his combos. I'm going to do another video on... So the next video, what I'm going to talk about is... Things like... In detail about his forward 3-2. Rush. Minus 12, but it's so good that you can kind of confirm at the end. 4, 3, 2, 1. Um, so, yeah, guys, this is going to conclude my video. Um, thanks for coming in and watching. And uh, 
We're going to do another video very soon. Um, Enforcer out. We're going to do a more in-depth video. Later, guys.